What are you doing? Packing up for the Rubicon. It's been Wait. a while. I have to get my shoes on. So. Get your shoes on. Wait for me. No. Okay, so what do you got there? Got some toiletries, a bag full of clothes, food for Tessa, and I got more stuff to bring out too, but this will start. Hey! Tradition! Tradition! Alright, I gotta pack up a few more things here. Oh, that's a nice little deal too. I just made that yesterday. That's cool. So I was gonna use the, the ones I had for the JK, the, those little teeny loops, I couldn't find them anywhere. So because of this plastic deal right here, you can't hook anything up to the plastic, right? Oh. Like over here by the carpet you can. So last night at about 6.30, I ran down to Lowe's and I just bought a few things. So you used the roof bolts? Those are from the roof and then the rest of the yeah. stuff I just got at Lowe's. I tried to open it by tailgate one. It's just like, hitch oh my god! All right. <laughs> I forgot to take my hitch stinger off and I was locked out. I thought it, the hinge broke. So I have this tray table and there's these cup holders. Oh, nice. They can hook right That'll into work. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. secured in place that's where our jackets are because it's gonna be a little cold tomorrow morning dining track equipped the good stuff radio check hey i read you loud and clear all loaded up sagging a little bit but that's to be expected since we've got all our tools and our welder just in case So with all that, for two days of camping, we're squatting a little bit, but as you can see, we're actually still looking at about uh, maybe three inches before we make contact with the jound stop at all. And then that can compress an ah. additional inch and a half Ready or so. Up? Yes. So we're good. Oh, I felt it. I'm good. feeling drops. All right, I'm going in the garage. Yeah. yeah I thought there was 0% chance of rain. What happened to your 0% chance of rain, Cindy? I don't know. Awful quiet on the other side of that camera lens there. <laughs> Still don't want to say anything? It's like this. Oh, I got pull. another one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Lay down in front of the Jeep. He gets wet. In. We all get wet. Back me in this side. While we're waiting. Oh, you're sucking. sucking I'm on? keeping my tarp now. <laughs> Good to see okay. you. It's time to head up to Tahoe. Okay, kids, here we go. Whoop, whoop. And check in. We're in South Lake Tahoe. Tomorrow we're gonna to be hitting the Rubicon, so we're just gonna relax and have some fun with our friends. Let's go check it out. Ooh, look at that. It is a suite. Nice, very nice. Ready? Okay. All right. Let's serve them up. How many? What do you got? What do you do? We got tradition here. Not necessarily our favorite in the world, but it is. For it's now. it is for now. It's something we've been doing forever. It's American honey, but to make it really uh, palatable, we made it into a sting, which means we're mixing it 50/50 with 101, which means um, by the time we walk over to dinner, we'll be a little bit you get a sting hammered. A little shot. A little shot, but it should be good. It's tradition. We've been doing it forever. Tradition. Tradition.
Carl, you're so with it. Tradition. Like five minutes later, you join in. Tradition. <laughs> Do we have an hour? I am not a rich man. One, no. two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, if I were a rich man, not if I. No, were. I am not a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven and up, sure. Seven and up. I like his words better. <laughs> Come on over, kids. ID, please. <laughs> oh, I'm not, sorry. Hey, he's 40 this weekend. That's it? 40. Oh, that's 40. it. Oh, holy <laughs> Yeah. You're Asian. You can go like for twenty. No, no. <laughs> and he's turned forty he's four still, times. Now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> honey virgin. Honey virgin. To oh. the honey virgin. Honey virgin. Be, be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, my friends. Cheers. 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 Mm. Good morning from South Lake Tahoe. Surprisingly warmer than it has been this time of morning. But super excited to hook up with Adam down at Loon Lake and uh, hit the trail. Did you see the moon? It will be, it will be cold. Well, the last few times we've gone, it's been like down in the 30s, even though it's in the 40s right up here. So. I got my big Carhartt jacket, I got my gloves ready to do this. Get it warmed up. Oh, I, that's right, I got heated steering and heated seats. Super excited about that. Radio check. Gotcha. Wow, that was loud. Are we all present and accounted for? <laughs> I can hear it over the whole area. Yes, sir. I'm here. I feel my buns getting warm. I love this thing. How long have you been here? Uh, half hour or so. You guys ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock. Rubicon time. And we're off. So it's kind of cool that on this trip across the Rubicon, we're going to be able to test out our all new Dynatrack Enduro Sport Lift and our recently installed LOD Rocker Guards, Signature Series ones. And I think uh, no better place to test them out than here.
definitely lower than we are in Moby, aren't we? Crazy, but just like move through it. Go, go. A little bit late on the bump. Try it again, back up, turn passenger, back up. A little bit more, keep going. Let's get you better. Yeah, that's good. Turn driver, come forward. You locked up, right? Yep. Okay, that's good. So start moving through it. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. There you go. That's all you need is just a little momentum. You didn't take the lunch. Uh, people break there, and I don't feel like doing that today. What kind of people break there? Two door people. <laughs> so it's just easier to go around. There you go. Smart guy. We are super low. We are hitting things that we should not be hitting, or at least I'm not accustomed to hitting for a very long time. A uh, big part of it, of course, is the fact that this is a two inch longer wheelbase. I'm feeling every inch of it. But in spite of it, we're still rocking it.
you spotting her? <laughs> She's doing it all by herself. <laughs> You're locked up, right? Straighten out again. Looks like um, you're gonna rub your rocker guard, that's okay. Um, turn into, turn passenger. Come forward, slow. Keep coming. Keep coming. There you go. You're clearing it. Hang on. Turn driver and back up if you can. Just a little bit. Hard passenger. Come forward. Back to driver. Come forward. There you go. You got it. Hard driver. You're gonna level out. Keep coming. Keep coming. You got it. 
There you go. Hold that line. Good. Keep it coming. Good. Good. Whew, that was tough. She wants you to show your toy. That was a declaration of war. You started it. I did. I got my big guns and my backup. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cannon. But it's empty. Oh, gotcha. Go, go, go. I'm out of water. <laughs> I just got a message on the radio. I think Doug bent his uh, rear track bar pretty common, especially with the factory ones. Uh, he said that his whole rear axle shifted over about a couple inches. Um, not like we haven't seen that before a few times. So let's go give it a look. Take no, it off. I mean, just look how it's Take it off yep. and drive over. I don't think that's enough weight. I'm rubbing back here on the fender. You can see where it's right up the. Yep. And then on the other side too. Yeah. I just hope I don't tear everything up on the way out. I mean, uh, at least you have a track bar. That's the good news. So what are you working on? Moving the hose clamps on his reservoir so it doesn't hit his tire. Hit it. You need to hit it. I'm missing. Wrong, wrong, wrong hole, hole Doug. Wrong, wrong hole. <laughs> there you go. Now, now we're talking. Just rip that off. One of my five essential tools that every Jeeper should have. A BFH. And four 10 millimeter wrenches, because right. you're gonna lose three. <laughs> <laughs> I have three 14s in my kit. <laughs> Everyone doing back there? Move it along. 
You're climbing this one a little. What? You're climbing this one a little. But I, will I be able to climb it? You are climbing it, yes. Yeah, well oh no, back up, back up. You just body damage. You just put a big dent in the body. Oh, f really? Yeah. No. Nope. You're not even moving, you're just pushing this way. Yeah, I know. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's gonna buckle it. Uh, almost. Oh, okay. There. Okay, keep pulling back. Oh shit. Real bummer. Real bummer. Right here. So we're gonna go around. Here at last, Rubicon Springs. Just made it over the bridge. Still a little bit of daylight in the sky. So I'm gonna call it all good. Now it's time to find our camp.
Just a little splash right there. Uh, I was going really slow. So that's hardly what I would call taking on water. How about the other side? Other side, same thing. See, just, just a little bit. I literally could see it lapping on the side of the, the door sills. <laughs> it's crazy. You, oh, sh you took on a lot of water. Yeah. Oh man, you gotta pull those plugs. All gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I felt it splash up like on my foot, you know. Oh no! I didn't know how much it was there, but enough. It'll dry out. <laughs> so I didn't hear your Jeep coming in. Is it still making noise? We'll work on it tomorrow. It's easier to work on it here than it is out there. Oh God, yes. I'm glad. I didn't know if I was going to make it here. It's just noise. It's just noise. Eight o'clock. All right. Could be worse. I still see a little bit of light in the sky. Let's get unpacked. Those other bears. Those other bears that is it time for some honey? <laughs> honey time. Come on, guys. Honey time. All right, come on, Here kids. We go, people. Cheers, you guys, to make Cheers. it to camp. Cheers. Woo. What you doing? Making some coffee. It's just now starting to perk. See it starting to brown now. What you doing down there? See what my options are to fix our stupid tailpipe for the second time. Seems that if you hit your tailpipe just hard enough, it just breaks the the exhaust hanger pin that uh, secures it to the frame. Which I don't know why someone decided to make it out of aluminum instead of steel. See that? So normally it attaches to this point right here. In fact, I could probably just push this through. There we go. See how it broke? Cast aluminum, piece of junk. What does this look like to you? <laughs> dirty mind you. What? You have a dirty mind. I thought, uh, it, what are you talking is about? It pink? <laughs> so what are you gonna do? I'm using a 13 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove the bolts securing the uh, remnants of this exhaust hanger to the frame and then I'm going to use some baling wire to secure this guy in place. That's one. How many times have we done this now? Rubicon Springs. Repairs. There we go, the other half. Okay, nothing like a little bit of baling wire to fix a simple problem like this. I think that'll hold, at least for us to get off the trail anyway. All right, what other things do we need to repair? At the very least, I think I need to take a look at the front differential cover. Yeah, it's coming right out of the plug. Ah, first try. Grab some brake clean. Oh yeah, it's just like finger tight. So I'm not sure why Dana decided to start putting their drain plugs on the very bottom of the differential, a place where it would for sure get hit again and again and again. But ours got beat to the point where it looks like it's uh, loosened up and enough so that uh, it's leaking really bad. So this is definitely something we need to fix. Oh yeah, it's like totally loose. I even wonder how much fluid we have left in our front diff. 
supposed to be able to get a 3 8 inch ratchet in there it looks like but um, it's mashed to the point where there's no way I don't know it's really bad I mean you see that that I can move it as much as I am see that yeah very bad makes me wonder if the threads inside are damaged were able to get it in? Yes, I was finally able to get it in, thanks to Adam. And that's what he said. And uh, I've thanks been able to, to tighten up the bolt. The bolt feels a lot tighter now. I think just hit after hit was uh, causing to spin off. Like, you know, if you clip it just on one edge, it spins it off. Or it could tighten it maybe, but whatever the case is, this is a real problem. I have a feeling we'll be hitting it again and loosening it again. But it uh, looks like the differential cover itself is doing its job. It's not leaking, but it was all coming from the drain bolt. Some boy genius decided to put it there. So we'll top it off and I think we'll be good. So it might not be a bad idea to have a spare drain bolt in? No, it might be a good idea to change our axle. <laughs> no, actually, uh, <laughs> that's the expensive <laughs> fix. Sorry. I can always bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> so Rancho literally contacted me like two weeks ago and said, would you guys be interested in running one of our glide plates underneath uh, the axle? And I said, no, that, don't get me wrong, it looks kind of gay. So that's okay, I understand. I, I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna do when I get back home? <laughs> hey, I'm coming out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> but everybody always knows that, it's me and Carl. <laughs> and for the new guys, don't listen to what's on this tape. All right, so we're good there. I'm gonna top it off. And then I just need to look at a couple other things like restraining out our steering wheel. Our steering stabilizer. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll cut that off. Oh, it's all flat. We basically have no steering stabilizer. I should cut, uh, just take this off. Oh, uh, it's all flat right here. Do you see that? Yeah. And uh, this bolt's all jacked up. I'll have to file that down. Get it off. But basically, this is going to hinder us. So I'm going to take it off. Got an 18 millimeter socket. We're going to go ahead and take okay, off the sock. steering stabilizer because I don't think it's doing us any good. If anything, it's hurting us. Can you spread your fingers out? Yeah. What's up? I keep seeing a whole bunch of dirt falling. <laughs> yeah, in my face. Mm -hmm. ah, look at this. Pretty sure that's How well do you think the piston moves in and out of this thing? <laughs> All right, so we've got the exhaust hung again. We've got the differential oh, bolt fixed. At least it's not leaking as bad as it was. Got the steering stabilizer removed. We can actually steer easier again. Need to top off the front differential. Maybe straighten out the steering wheel. It's a little bit off. And aside from that, I think we're good to go. I'm going to give it another once around to make sure I got everything. What do you mean my straps? Are, you got U-bolts. Yeah, uh, but the little bolts on the end are rounded. Oh, the nuts. The nuts, yeah, I'm sorry. How much room is that be between the skid and the actual tank? Half inch? You see this structure right here? Uh, this is the tower that supports it to the frame. Uh -huh. This is all hollow. I can stick my hand behind here. See, oh, there's even rocks. I thought you were chewing. Like, no, so see, like right here, it's starting to chew through. That's not really chewing. That's there's, nothing. That's, that's a nothing. Screen. You could literally cut this whole part out if you really needed to. So I wouldn't even give a f about this. I would just pound this shit in because, like I said, there's nothing back here. So if we have like just a, a lot of bleeps on this one. <laughs> how about how <laughs> socket extension and using that as a? <laughs> so to me, it looks like the threading on the U straps, the the U bolt okay. straps, they're okay, right? Well, how are you gonna get the nut off? That's I think we could get them off. Vice grips or whatever. What's that? Jam a socket on there. Jam a socket on there, and we we could do it, or, uh, or even a wrench. But uh, we'd have to file away some of the. The goobered up stuff. We'll just take a file and we'll just kind of clean that off. It'll just take some time. But uh, all we need is replacement nuts, and I might even have a couple of nuts. These are. Uh, I hope you do, <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> She's got them in her purse. I love it when Adam chimes in. <laughs> so what's the plan? So the plan is that we're going to see if we can at least get some replacement nuts. If we can do that, we'll clean things up and uh, we'll droop out his rear axle and pound in his gas tank right where it's making contact. If that doesn't work, then we'll pull off his rear track bar and see if we can't do anything to straighten it out.
It's probably going to okay. take a couple. It's not going to be the right size because they're ground down. Too big? That's too big. These two are okay. We'll hit it up with some red Loctite too anyway when we put back on. These are just lock washers. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Took a file, flattened out some of the bolts that were rounded out, and we were able to use a wrench to get them off. There's one nut that we're not able to get off yet, so we're going to back off the Jeep and uh, rotate it. So that should get that should help out a lot. Go forward just a little bit. Okay, I'm keep going. Go forward. A little bit more. That's good. Though. Plenty, plenty. That's good. We all walked through that section up there, and this year, I had this issue going. I don't know. I can't. It's hard to get money that. You want a uh, punch or a chisel or something? I don't think you. Like, I get a better blow. You want me to swing it or what? You know what? Try it. You hold it and I'll swing it. You got it? I got it. Oh, f you're moving the shit out of it. Whoa! That went in a half inch. <laughs> I think you're done. I'm a pussy. <laughs> you're just old, Doug. <laughs> Sound. Why are you getting closer to me, Doug? <laughs> what is that? He's enjoying your strokes. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> That's the bite, Doug. Come on. Yeah. Guys. How's it looking? <laughs> looks good. It looks really good. No, actually, I get you I, it, I went to shiny ones. If only you bought a spare strap kit. <laughs> Where are we off to? We're off to the river. We're actually where the water is. The river's next to our camp, but this is the nice part of the river. Waterfalls, pools of water you can swim in. We're just relaxing and cleaned up in too. Because I'm filthy. Ain't that right, girl? Filthy dirty. <laughs> <laughs> to the Rubicon. Cheers. Cheers. This is for you. Cheers. Cheers. Last day, we just need to conquer Cadillac Hill and we'll be off the trail. So we'll see how it goes. Doug is still having some issues because of his rear track bar being bent. His drive shaft is still making contact with the gas tank skid plate. 
But um, we just have this little bit to go, so hopefully all works out well. <laughs>